Hello. And uh, today we're going to be talking about something different. We're going to be talking about, uh, well, how I failed pretty much. On the journey to find a publisher, um, how did it begin? It began simply and easily enough like most publisher, not like most writers do. You go online and, and you look for a publisher, you look for anything you can find. And I thought I found something. I, I thought I really had this in my hand. I, I really thought I found someone finally after years and years of, of like paralyzing thoughts that I finally had found something. Years of paralyzing thoughts that I, I, I was an inadequate writer, that I couldn't be a good writer, that all these bottled up thoughts culminating over six to five years. And uh, I went to the site, it was called iUniverse.com, I believe. And uh, I don't know, I, I, I just figured, oh hell, I'll, I'll register, I'll, I'll sign up, and we'll see what happens. So I did, and like not more than three minutes pass, and I get this call on the phone. Because I did put in my uh, my phone number, so I just call on the phone and I pick it up. And this lady, she says, "Oh, I'm I'm with I University, uh, and and uh, I, we want I want to talk to you about getting published." And and I was like, "Wow, that's really cool, you know? It's finally, it's after all these years, something something to show for it. Something who, someone who's taken interest, someone who's who really cares." Someone who might, who probably cares about making money, but someone who's a little bit more than that, you know, because they they want a book, and I have one. So we get to talking about uh, their policies and and what they do and all that stuff, that, which is fine. So uh, I hang up the phone and then she calls again, not the same day, but like a week after, and then so we talk some more, and then. She taught, and I told her, "Oh, call next, call November the in the first week of November because I'll, I'll I'll know by then if I have any money because I just thought, oh, they're uh, they're bundles, not their bundles, they're uh, packages, their um, services, whatever. You have to buy a, a package from them in order to for them to do stuff for you and." Uh, and that was a little, a little bit un unsettling because I, I thought, huh, could there be something about this? Is this how it's supposed to be? I, I honestly didn't know. I still don't know. Uh, so I looked up on their site all about their all about their packages, and and then I came to a decision. I was going to get the middle one. It was like two thousand dollars, not not cheap, because we aren't exactly the richest people. Anyway. And then I said, oh, God, uh, you know what I have to do? I have to look these people up because I do not want to get screwed up the ass. So I looked them up, and right off the bat, it came up. Uh, I, I typed in iUniverse and scam in Google. And what came up? Two, three pages about scams for iUniverse, stuff that says, oh, you shouldn't have to pay for publishing. You shouldn't have to. They should pay you. Things like that. Very, very upsetting stuff. Um, all about this stuff that they panhandle you. And when you submit a novel to them, they don't get back to you. They keep it or something. Or they charge you for rates that aren't there. Or, you know, just wacky shit. Shit that really makes you upset because you finally thought you had something. And they're a piece of shit. That's the way I saw it at the moment, anyway. This sort of bubbling amount of rage and depression that sank in for the most of that day and the few days after. And it's kind of lingering still. And now, when she calls back this first week of November, I'm going to ask her some serious, very serious questions. Um, 
I don't expect her to actually say yes. We we that's exactly what we do, but I hope it'll lead me into some answers. Maybe I can find some answers. I don't know. I don't know. I'm really on the. I'm, I, I, I mean, how could I? After hearing that, how could I even take them seriously now? I mean, it's like such a huge letdown, and I shouldn't have popped myself up this much. I shouldn't have wanted it this much much because now I absolutely have no idea where to go. Not only did they rob me of a legitimate publisher, they also robbed me of the fact that I, now every time I look for a, a publisher online, I'll automatically think they uh, the, the, they're out to get something that that that, that they're going to get me and and try to steal my novel, my money and and all that stuff, man. And and now I'm in a hole again. I'm in this fucking grave. I have nowhere to go. I don't I don't know how to find publishers. I can't trust anybody online now in terms of publishers and I don't have any options. I am fucked. I am stuck in a pit that I can't find a staircase out of that there's no way to climb out of pretty much and now I have no clue what to do again son of a bitch why is it always like this why does it always have to be this way every damn time every single time every time I try to get ahead every time, time I try to find a publisher every time I try to do something Every time. Every time I try to get close to my need, my goal, my want in life. The only thing I've ever lived for. The only thing I've ever wanted, seriously. The only thing I've ever set my heart into actually doing. Writing it for me isn't just some way of writing. It's a lifestyle. It's me. It's everything to me. And I take it more seriously than anything I've ever done. Because I I know it's exactly what I want to be and where I want to go. And I'll try and try and try and get sadder and sadder and sadder, probably, because stuff like this happens. Stuff like this happens. And and, And look at me. Look at me. What else could you want from me? What else could I do? I'm a writer. That's it. That's all I could be. That's all I am. There's nothing else to say. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.